Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I have Simba with me but he is very very playful so I'm going to let him down. In today's video I have a Timu haul for you guys. Everything is wreath related except for a few headbands I got for myself but I am going to show all the prices as I'm showing the items. But before we do get started, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off of everything. Everything came covered and nobody wants to hear that little crinkling, right? So let me do that and we can get started on all the goodies that I got. Are you saying hello to everyone? Look who's back, you guys. He wanted me to pick him up. Before I... Oh, not anymore. Before I get started on this video, I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Timu. So thank you so much to Timu for allowing me to try these things out for upcoming wreaths. I will be attaching links to where I got all of these goodies in the description box below. So with that said, let's get started on this haul. First, I want to show you the headbands that I got. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this one. It's really pretty. It has that little leather in the back and a gold little chain. This goes well with a lot of the gold jewelry that I'm going to be taking with me. Then I got this one. I have a similar one, but this one has a little comb behind it, which is kind of nice, especially if you just want to kind of Whoop, your hair back and go on with your day the prettiest one I got was this one you guys check this out I don't know if you can see the little starfish right there they also have one with a little seashell but I wanted the starfish for my upcoming cruise this headband also came with these little plastic things to put on the ends so it doesn't you know rub into your head so that was really really nice Next, I got a table runner. Now, I got a blue one that has a little blue kind of um, like a blue pearls on it. And it is going to be so pretty. It is long. Let me show you up close how beautiful this is. And this would be so pretty to do on a spode tablescape, blue and white tablescape, 4th of July tablescape so pretty and they do come in different colors so check this one out i thought it was a great price for uh, what you're getting with the table runner now speaking of table runners i got something that you can put on top of that which is this garland you guys a lot of times these garland come with really flimsy flowers but i was really surprised look at this gorgeousness no seriously so beautiful and look at this they are not very sparse I mean they're about a foot from each other and then if you kind of wave them on the table this is going to be absolutely stunning I got this to kind of see if it was worth getting more and I will definitely be getting more because this is going to be so beautiful on the tablescapes you are getting eucalyptus leaves on this runner and a ton of flowers. I thought this was a great buy, great for tablescapes, anything for spring, summer. To go along with this runner, I decided it would be nice to put a little vase and some flowers in there. Woohoo! Look at this. Look at the matching and look at this bouquet. No joke look at all these flowers this is what i paid for it that's all now seriously look at all of these beautiful beautiful flowers and look how much you are getting for this price these are open really really nicely but if you get a bouquet that's not open and you feel like it just needs a little bit more floofiness all you do is run it under a steamer a little bit or if you don't have that, run a hot shower and just kind of wave the flowers there. Maybe do one of these so they kind of open up 
and you will have a fluffy, fluffy bouquet. But as I said, this one is straight out of the plastic bag and it looks stunning, you guys. Next, I got two small little bouquets, but let me just show you. This is a five stem rose bouquet. It is absolutely beautiful. There's some little baby breaths in there and they look beautiful against all the greenery that's already in there. Then I got this blue one and it looks like they just melted down the stems. So it comes like this, but let me open it up because it's just so elegant, so gentle, so beautiful. I thought it was stunning and the colors are bluish and greenish. The reason I got it is I thought it would work perfect with the white one. So all I'm doing is just inserting the blue one straight in the center right there. You have a bouquet ready to go and it is stunning. It's elegant. It's beautiful and ugh, look at this. It looks like a bridal bouquet, you guys. Wow, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The last floral thing I got came in a box and the box did not hold up well in shipping. It came like this. Okay, my friends, check out these absolutely stunning flowers. They will make such a gorgeous bouquet or a wreath. Now, it did come with one glue stick. How perfect is that? And it also came with little floral stems if you want to put it in a bouquet, which is perfect. Let me see this. I got one flower, look at this, and it's as easy as just attaching these straight on, and you can definitely make the bouquet. They did tie it, so I mean, really, just maybe move it down a little bit and attach all the flowers to the rest of these little stems. Some of them already come on the stem, this little lilac one is the one that feels, it's not a plastic, it's like a velvety type of flower. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels so stinking soft and beautiful. And the pink ones are the same way. They have that velvety texture. And also the white ones, check that out. I wanted to see what type of deco mesh I can get. Now, I kept it in the plastic for obvious reasons, but this is not the cheap kind of deco mesh. This is the nice type of deco mesh with the foiling through it, with the foil little strings, just like in this roll. This is a single roll that I got of the orange deco mesh. I got a pack of four. Look at these beautiful spring and summer colors. And all of these also have the foil going throughout all of the deco mesh. It gives you a little sparkle in your wreaths. These are really, really good. And this is an amazing price for four rolls of this deco mesh. I also got some beautiful ribbon, starting with this velvet pink ribbon. Here is the back side. And the front, it is absolutely stunning. It comes in so many colors. And this would be perfect for a wreath where you need a very elegant, loose type of bow. I just thought it was so pretty. And the color is hot pink or fuchsia. It's just that bright and beautiful. Then I did get a few yards of this orange plaid ribbon. It is wired and it's going to be perfect for fall. Now, of course, I'm always thinking Christmas. So these two came together as a set and these are wired also a few yards each. I just thought these would be such a great addition to a beautiful Christmas wreath. Now I'm going to show you all the signs that I got. But before I do that, I have a few tips for you. It doesn't always say what it's made out of. So if it doesn't, there's a few things to watch out for because your sign is going to be A, made out of metal, B, made out of wood, and C, be made out of plywood, which is usually labeled as wooden. If your sign doesn't have anything in the description saying what it's made out of, more than likely it's made out of plywood. Now, one way to know that it's plywood is on the back of the sign, it is going to have 
two holes and it's going to come with a little string and you will see that in the picture where it's hanging by this little string and there are two holes on top. If your sign is metal, all the metal signs that I got did mention that they were metal signs and you will see the holes, one on top, one at the bottom on most of the metal ones. Well, all the metal ones that I got, that's how they had their little attachments on top and bottom because these are made specifically for wreaths. But there are beautiful ones, same thing, 8 inches, that we can use as, you know, as a decor anywhere in the house. I'm going to first show you the oval one that I got because this is something I've never seen before. Just the, the, the way it's shaped and stuff, it's really, really pretty. And it does have this beautiful blue and white edging. Of course, this is for fall. I did not organize the sign by seasons, but I did organize them by, I guess, material. So first, I'm going to show you all the plywood ones. This oval sign is a plywood sign. So pretty. This next one has butterflies. I have so many requests to make a butterfly wreath. So check out this sign, yes, plywood, and I just, look at the colors, my goodness, they are so bright and beautiful. This next one is Cuteness Overload. Now, who does this little kitten look like? Yeah, I know, my sweet little Simba. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably paint the little eyes and the little turquoise paint because other than that, this little one looks exactly like Simba. How adorable is this little one? Oh my goodness, so sweet. I cannot wait to make something with this one. Then I have more with butterflies, my friends. How exciting, so beautiful. I'm probably going to use this next spring. The colors are so vibrant. I absolutely love it. Then we have a little snowman. This one is so, so super cute. I'm telling you, the pictures or the images on all of these signs are stunning. Next, I have a sign with some ladybugs, some daisies, and some butterflies. Look how beautiful this is. Very, very bright. The next sign has a beautiful cow on it, and it will look perfect with the ribbon I got from Craft Outlet. How beautiful is this little one? This one is another gorgeous one. The colors are so stunning, and the picture is beautiful. The next two signs are real wood. When I mean real wood, I mean real wood. And they also have the two little holes on top. And just look at this sign. How gorgeous would this be for Memorial Day? And the second one I got has beautiful little lemons and flowers. Has my favorite blue, white, and then the addition of the yellow in the lemons and the green. I mean, this color combo is so stunning. I love blue and white anything, but this right here is absolutely beautiful. The last signs I'm going to show you are all metal. Now, starting with this beautiful one, looks like Louis. That's why I got it. And on the back, of course, as I said, hole at the bottom and hole on top on all of these metal ones. Then I got this one because it has one of my favorite verses on it and it says she is far more precious than jewels. Look at this, really, really beautiful for spring or summer. This next one is absolutely gorgeous for Christmas. We have pinks and whites and look at this teal right in between. Jesus is the reason for the season. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Okay, Simba. I don't know if you guys heard him meowing. I had to pick him up. He is just really in the mood for me to hold and play with him, huh? Ay, Simba, I got a few more. We're just going to move on with Simba in my arms. 
I have this gorgeous B1 next. Look at this. I'm telling you, it almost looks like a 3D kind of thing. Absolutely beautiful for a B wreath. Then I got another one for 4th of July. Look at the colors on here, the flowers, the flag. It's absolutely stunning. I love the way that one looks. Oh my goodness. Look at this one, Simba. Look how adorable this next one is. Absolutely sweet with the little bunny. Look at that. The roses, just the little ears. Everything on this bunny is adorable. Then I have one for fall with a little pumpkin spice kind of thing. And I did get it because of the pumpkin spice. If you guys watch my Instagram, you know I love pumpkin spice. Not only in fall, year-round. I drink the pumpkin spice lattes year-round. I stock up on it at Christmas time because I love it so much. Another Christmas one. This one is blue and white. What a gorgeous color combo, which I absolutely love. So I thought this would be really pretty. And then the last one, look at this one. How gorgeous. It is a nautical theme. I'm going to make this for someone who is moving to Florida. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that it's metal and it's going to withstand all of that heat and all those high temperatures. All right, Simba, you are here to say bye to everyone and thank you so much for being with us. As I said, I will try to link all of this in the description box below. So definitely visit Timu for some beautiful wreath supplies. As for us, we're going to say thank you so much for being with us. Simba, say bye. Give me five. Yeah. No, well, you have to say bye to everyone. That's the polite thing to do. Are you a polite kitty? Yes, you are. So, bye, everyone. Mwah! Bye, guys. Oh, you had to have that last word, huh?